On Saturday, April 4th, the Cincinnati Dutch Lions Football Club hosted their 2015 Invitational Tryout at Seven Hills High School. Led by head coach Terry Nickel, goalkeepers coach Scott Cagle, and assistant coach Jack Hermans, the 2015 Dutch Lions looked poised for success. I'm hoping to win the league. Last year we were close. We were winning the whole, the whole year. We dropped at the very end. I'm hoping to finish it out this year and get that first place. Just get better every day at practice and in the games and just, just continue to get better as a player and as a team. We'll split you up into three teams, three teams of eight. There'll be five on five in this, this area here and then seven on seven with players coming in uh, in the close goal situation. <laughs> During a short break for the players, assistant coach Jack Hermans explains the purpose behind the small-sided game. Uh, typical Dutch drill, possession, but at the same time, if you lose the ball, transition. Transition from offense to defense, because you don't want that other team to score, and they can score both ways. So the immediate positioning, transition, uh, changing over again, and once you get the ball back, boom, big field again. And the, 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 the concept is to recognize short, short, long. Halfway through day one, head coach Terry Nichols spoke to Dutch Line TV about what he had seen so far. I'm seeing some talent. I see some talent. There's existing PDL players in here, which gives us a, a better uh, judgment call because they're playing with lads that played fairly successfully last year. Um, so we've got a good assessment whether these, the fresh lads or the lads we haven't seen can play at the standard. To wrap up day one, the coaching staff selected two even sides to play 11 v 11. For one first time invitational participant, he was very pleased with what he saw on the pitch. A lot of good talent. I didn't really know who we would be. There's a lot of guys here, a lot of good guys here. Um, a lot of guys that grew up playing against watching play and uh, respect a lot. It's a good competition. Like I said, I was playing with the Cincinnati Saints um, and I've heard a lot of good talk about the, the Cincinnati Dutch Lions team really doing well in their conference in the PDL and uh, that's what got my attention to come on try out this year. It's just whether we feel that you can get to that next level. At the end of day one, the coaching staff told which players would be returning for day two. After a quick warm up, the players were back at it with a seven on seven compressed game. Be careful in the beginning. If you have to jump out the tackle in the beginning, if you're not warm, I understand it. I'll start, I'll start really monitoring it once I say, is your team ready and your team ready? For one of the returning goalkeepers, he believes his team is ready to take the next step and make the PDL playoffs. I hope that we build on the team that we made last year. Um, it was our first year in the league last year. We ended up finishing second, um, pretty close. We had a first year group of guys that came out and got together and put together a pretty good season. So we've got a, a few of those guys coming out returning. So uh, I would, I'd like to build on that and see if we could uh, win the uh, division this year. After two straight days of intense soccer, players were beginning to feel it in their legs. Um, a bit tired, but good. 
just uh, a lot of a lot of good players, a lot of good play. Um, a little sore, but it's it's great experience, a lot of fun. Following the tryouts, the coaching staff has to make the difficult decisions about which players will make the team and which ones won't. Following his discussion with the players, Coach Harry Nichol talked to Dutch Lines TV about the weekend. Saturday um, was the first invite. Um, we had um, um, more of the team from last year came in. Um, basically, uh, Jake Stovall as a centre back, two two of the mid midfielders. Um, and a lot, all, all, just about all the young developmental players that we brought up last year were here. But today we did two compressed um, penalty, two penalty areas with full-size goals at e each end of the field, and did what we call the FA Cup training. And it was it's high intensity, um, seven, uh, six against six we played because the numbers worked out better and it meant, meant it was very, very competitive. Well, first of all, you know, we, we, we have to look at potential as well, as well as what's been delivered. There's a potential factor in there, so can these players develop into something more? And that's why our development squad settled, I think there's 11 development pl players that I've got here, and I think it was 12 rostered players that we that we sense today. Uh, we hope that there's going to be a, uh, a Dutch player in there because I think if we can get a Dutch player like we did last year it was really part of part of being in the Dutch environment. For the young men who made the team they can now look forward to the May 16th home opener at the Xavier University Soccer Complex.